personal cameraman? Yeah. It's going to be you soon? Yeah, I hope so, yeah. When? I don't know, you have to ask Sam that one because I don't, he doesn't know either. Soon? <laughs> soon. Yeah, fingers soon. crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers and crossed crossed. <laughs> fingers and toes crossed. What you pointing at there? I think you should be recording down there. Who? Sure. I, I've already filmed him. Oh, this is why I'm filming. Oh, this is his vlog. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, well done, shit. <laughs> Over. Oh, was it tough or what? No. Is it tough? Is it heavy? No, it's alright. I hate me on studs, That's the thing, I feel good now, but then tomorrow I'm going to feel like shit. Thumbs in? <laughs> no, I don't know. It's heavy, innit? Yeah, you will be fine. I'm back out here tomorrow, I'm going to be all full. How are you feeling? Very good. Oh, I just got out of the scholar therapies testing um, up in Chorley. Big thank you to Gaz, Gareth Thomas, the one who works there and it's his business. Um, I am on my 10th week now of post-surgery and it was two weeks ago since I've done my the first testing and there was a bit of a, a deficit on the weaker leg compared to my stronger leg. So I had to do basically another test this week which is two weeks later just to see if i've got any improvements etc and all that type of stuff because if it's a lot lower then i believe um i can start hitting a bit of high speed running the results were really good today uh, pretty much even on both legs now uh, which is i'm really happy within the space of two weeks i went from a 24 percent deficit in my on the nordics to i think it was eight percent so and you always get a, def uh, a deficit in one leg anyway so to be eight percent that's it's, it's minimal i'll only end up uh improving on my nordics on the strength of my hamstring i got still got a lot of weeks left until i'm back anyway so yeah looking forward to a positive end to today and fingers crossed now i can start um up in the training Yep, back at this place again. Um, yeah, not great. Trying to be positive, but so basically, what happened today? Just felt them like another pop in my leg. It wasn't as painful as the one that I done when I actually tore my hamstring, but. Um, yeah, I was in a lot of discomfort for a while. Settled down mainly, you know, and I'm not it's not catching to the point where I feel like I'm being stabbed in my leg. That uh, feeling just feels like you've been stabbed, but everything was just going perfect and yeah, I, I don't know. Just feel like I'm just this is a massive step back, but trying to stay positive, but you know, I it just it's hard to to see the positive sides of it so the only thing that's keeping me sort of positive is like when i actually had my surgery from day one the physio here sam he actually said to me that you know everyone he's rehabbed in this injury has felt a pop or felt like they've done their hamstring again and well well we know 12 to 13 weeks down the line and i'm at this position now so that's the only thing that's got me it's the only thing I'm clinging on really to be in a positive outcome and hoping it's only stretching the scar tissue and maybe like pulling a little bit of the wire that's attached my tendon um but yeah Ed's not in a great place right now so just trying to be positive and just let's see let's just see what the results are and if who I was I wasn't actually gonna do a video about it but I guess it's part of the journey. Um, got the results back late, well, yesterday evening, and yeah, got a little setback. Uh, yeah, I just aggravated the tendon basically, and now, now I need to just take a step back in rehab and basically recover properly. But yeah. 
been all just fed up with it. Um, yeah, I guess I gotta. I did say I was gonna like say how I feel and stuff, but I'm trying to speak on the camera now was not something I really actually want to do. So, but like I said, I think it's part of the journey, and I kind of have to tell you exactly what it's like. Um, I think it just adds a couple of weeks on to where I was, but you know, Monday, I had 80% running, everything was fine. Um, yeah, and then training yesterday felt great, no problem whatsoever, and just felt something in the hamstring, and yeah, I just basically it was all short, I need to take a step back. But it's just really frustrating because I work so hard for everything. Um, you know, not, you don't see exact stuff, you know, I do outside of when I'm back home. Uh, don't go to home, back in the apartment. You know, the, all the stuff I do in my own time. And then, yeah, I just get a hit to the news like this and, yeah. Be like shit to be honest. I was gonna head back home to Wales, but I'm on my way home to Wales now, back home uh, for, for the weekend, Friday to Sunday, and then then I'll spend some time with the family and the dogs. So hopefully that makes me feel a little bit, little bit better. But I don't think it's good enough to be honest. Um, it's hard to explain how I feel right now. It's just a lot of anger frustration upset uh, yeah just got a time scale of when I was back in training and that was yesterday and yesterday I do that to my hamstring and now it's just messed the plans up so yeah I thought I'll just say how I how I feel in the best way I can, but I find it hard to actually speak on this, so, especially when I feel like this right now. But, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know what else I, what else more I can actually say, but it's just, just shit. Um, Yeah, I don't know, so on my way home to Wales now, so I stopped with the services and thought I may as well just say how I feel. Just don't feel anything in a way, it's just crap, just crap. Uh, that's part of the journey again. 